Uh, thanks for sharing uh, our experiences on, on uh, data sharing and European data strategy. Just to, um, to remind you of some of the activities that uh, Telefonica and myself have been involved in. Uh, I was a member of the uh, European Commission's expert group on business to government sharing uh, with a lot of discussions and insights on how to grow uh, business to government sharing. Um, I'm also the founder of a big data for social good department within Telefonica, where we share uh, non-personal data for the greater good with humanitarian organizations, et cetera. Um, and within Telefonica, we have a business unit that is actually doing data sharing as a business where in the past, uh, maybe three, four years, we've done over 600 projects. Yeah? So we have some experience in what it means in practice to share uh, data. Uh, have that, uh, we believe that uh, the European data strategy is very important. We really welcome it. Uh, today, in general, data sharing is only at the beginning. So you can think of data sharing as four different types of data sharing. Yeah, It's business to business, it's business to government, but it's also government to business and government to government. Yeah, The last two uh, are in the, in the scope of open data. And even there, where there's a lot of data available, uh, not so much, there's not really an ecosystem yeah, that, that supports that sharing at a large scale. Yeah? Well, the data is available. So it's not a matter of only making the data flow and make the data available. It is above all of making that data used others yeah, to create a thriving ecosystem uh, that really makes the difference. Yeah? If we don't manage to, build a thriving ecosystem, then it really, uh, it will not uh, take off. Now, uh, as I said, European data strategy is very positive, very important, but there are also a lot of uh, open issues and open questions. Yeah? And I just want to list some of those questions to see uh, that a lot of things have to be defined. Yeah? And it's not even clear who should define them before this strategy really can be executed. First of all, first of all is the, the data spaces. Yeah. So how will they function? Is this a marketplace? Is it a repository of data, a trusted intermediary? Now we heard just that uh, Malt spoke about data institutions. Is it the data institution? Yeah. We also believe that a certain <coughs> role, organization role is very important. It's an organizational data steward, somebody who within companies and within public administration knows what data is available in the company to establish these uh, partnerships and ecosystems with with others yeah. and who will determine the rules uh, to operate and govern the data space is that industry is it the public private partnership is it the european commission the expert groups yeah. and who decides what data should enter in a certain data space so there are several data space some most of them vertical based on sectors uh, but some of them cross, like the green data space. So who decides? Yeah? Is it free uh, for companies and, uh, and public administrations to put in their data? Or is there some government? Is there some obligation? So that's all uh, undecided yet. Yeah? And then who, who decides who can use the data? Uh, imagine you can use data in a data space, combining different data sets for a lot of good things, but you can also use it for, let's say, illegal things or even bad things. So is there a governance around that is there something that decides or that checks that actually the, the data use is going to be used in an ethical way and the question is uh, how do you how do we proceed to build this tracking ecosystem yeah how to incentivize all stakeholders to participate is it through funding uh, through obligations uh, tax measures so there it's we have to do something yeah, to create this thriving ecosystem What's the business model underlying it? Yeah. Uh, what's the incentive for a data provider to put in the data? Because once it's there, there are others who can use the data and they might even compete with the one who puts the data. So in summary, there are many, many open questions that have to be answered. Yeah? Some at the horizontal level, others at the sectorial level before those data space can really kick off. Thank you very much.